Greetings, this is Freena Rina Mitchell. I welcome you to my rea my recap of of Kindling Spirits, the 73rd episode of Critical Role Campaign 3, Saga of the Bell's Hells. Jump, I'm going to jump, long notes and short not time to shoot this. Well, for, as for the ads, uh, there was something with Dragonair where, uh, it, uh, the new game that's coming out, just Dragon Age: Sign Gods, where Matt voices actually one of the characters available to play at Sengor, a horse-like humanoid. Who last time they sponsored, uh, or Matt challenged him for the right to for that thing with a playoff, which Matt won. According to the, Matt, Sam, now they still so impressed that they with him that they sent over a hat based on what. Uh, uh, Matthew was wearing. I mean, before him, on the his character plays that's ridiculously tall. But he also claimed that they also that well they still liked his thing and they sent him uh, Sam an even bigger hat helmet. But she said nicer till until uh, Matt's related questioning. He forced Sam to admit that. That they didn't say that he meant himself, and that he is nothing. What the frick? I don't want... Oh, anyway. well. After that, there's things where Count Delos, uh, fresh blood. You know? Uh, a, a ad for their next one-shot, My Nine Reunion, Echoes of the Solstice. Which I now know because I briefly watched the start before I realized what point of time this was. Was I think it should be for when I, including Caleb and Bo's, Bo's adventures after the Battle of the Red Center. Uh, they have the uh, merch alert for hoodie, the retro hoodie and joggers, which I have both, and I said. And the final two issues of Critical White Knight Origins featuring Bo, Bo and Caleb. Released second quarter of 2000, second quarter of 2024. Second series, uh, 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 Critical Role Tales of Xandra featuring Antigua being released January 24th. After that, we get into the intro and recap. Uh, uh, previous events, which I will not go through. Sam was wearing a a, a uh, sh sh shirt with uh, something called with the phrase uh, uh, flat white w with vanilla, which I think is a is something that it refers to uh, Russia, but sure, chagrin. Uh, uh, basically, they they decide to attempt to uh, a scrying on the, the monk and the quote unquote smelly wizard. What? 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 Hang on. Oh. Why don't we simul scry? You can do the hot Ooh. one, and I'll do the. You're gonna simul cast the, the, yeah. the dirt wizard. Oh yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What do we really think? Really clean me. <laughs> No, no. What about, My optics what about... are too in tune to the. <laughs> My the... <laughs> passive perception is thirty-one. But I got a really good look. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't smell, and I smelled him. <laughs> yeah. We've got D. We've got. Well, we can si we can simul scry on those two those two wild mount folks. All right. Want to do that first? Yeah. What do I? Do? What do I? If it's somebody I don't know, 
Wait, you never saw? You saw it. No, I saw her, but that's all it takes. I, I think forget. so. I've only done this a couple yeah, times. Yeah, she looked like this. And I'll use minor illusion to make her face. Yeah, remember? But she's like this. She had more ads. Shapers, creepers. She okay. Had like 24 yeah. packs. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. Now she's got 24 she abs. Just shredded. It just looks like shredded. a terrible hernia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably, that's probably fair. She doesn't have long. We have to reach out. Me. <laughs> And then, Lily things there. They're trying to figure out how to. Is gone. Yep. Do you I have some? You I have two. two one. I have two, but the one that I use <laughs> is gone. So I'll just yeah. use this one. I don't care. Nope. What's it look like? Oh. It's a special one. Could these one? Is that the good old guild eye in your? What's this? Don't show <laughs> it. Don't show it. We're just a. Sneak peek. It's a sneak peek. This is uh, not. This is it's not for sale yet. Put it. That's Jesus, I should not have <laughs> given that to you. Enhance. I am wondering what you were thinking. I just put a black bar over it. Censor everything you roll. Oh, God. We will, <laughs> we will never that's start that's tonight's no. session. Nope. 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 <laughs> okay, okay. What are we rolling for? <laughs> Scrub. I'm Can going. I'm just rolling something. Natural oh. 20. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're doing it at the same time? Yes, yeah, I will scrub. Like the same circle? You gotta get a 20. Don't fuck it up. Well, well, okay. Get a 20. You, you can do it. Don't pick one of those little things. Oh, wait. Things. The fat yeah. one comes up. Wow, that was a crazy oh, roll. I, it, it I feel like it doesn't count, it doesn't count. count. God. Wait, what am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah? Matthew. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Like, it it what are you? What is she adding? Nothing. You don't roll for scrap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Eight years. 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 Okay. They can make us. You're probably gonna make the stage, but for me. We're just, we're just doing it. We just do it. Right all right. All right. So you both take a little bit of time to prepare your. Anyway. <laughs> With that, Cody arrows out of the way. Um. They perform their scrying on the two members, uh, of my, the Might Nine, though they don't know that group. Oh, with uh, FG scrying Caleb and Fern scrying Bo. Now they get through, through and stuff. And, and if you remember, they probably still have their amulets from when they were being went from from that asylum that Caleb used to be. They scry on D after that word. But see him once again on a beach and stuff, and can see nothing that they can identify him with. Oh, by the way, this is all taking place aboard the um, the uh, Captain Nova's ship, the uh, Crimson uh, something. Anyway, there's nothing they can identify him. Lana asks if FCG can scry on Delilah. Stuff. Well, he's all spell, but he's all spells at the time. But... And then actually comes the idea that they all get tattoos. Stuff. Uh... And they go to ask a member who does the tattooing. Uh... He warns them that it might be because he usually does it straight, like basically chisels it onto bone. Bone, uh, 
Baron is set there. Is there? And basically, he offers us payment that they get everyone. They'll be able to show everyone they and tell them where they got the tattoos from. You know, immortalize the artist. You know, the skeleton. Hmm? Uh, they warned uh, Fern not to steal from the ghost. Ghost. Uh, they this. I think that's one thing they just consider. They eventually get bells. Originally they were considering like flame bells, but they wanted to, uh, you know, for bells also. But I think they decided to just on bells. Like they all get the matching tattoos. Ooh's. Uh, they even consider to talk a bell, bell, but. Uh, I was gonna say, but Laura talk about it. Yeah. And the, uh, also, uh, they start discussing what the situation with the things like. The crew doesn't seem to be. They're not out outwardly certain, but they don't seem to be as comfortable with their current situation as the captain is. Is and they're we'll talk about is there if they maybe raise what different methods that they, they might to break the curse on the crew. And uh, Lana admits that uh, is that uh, that Delilah is what was getting active in her mind or not active, but she heard the voice a lot of uh, uh, Delilah again. And uh, but talk about the situation about when she. He killed Border with the hunger of hunger of the shadows and how it seemed to suck the soul or life force out. And that stuff. Uh, Fern doesn't help by saying uh, when they talk about that. She, she uh, uh, like what her comments saying. Uh, uh, she had I had the soul. Uh, uh, she had the kid get the baby and go wait. What was stuff, sir? Later she admits like she thought she was being like just saying weird things and just like ah oh, she didn't realize she was being serious. Uh, by the way, it's. I don't think it's specifically the soul. I think it's more the it is the, the life force that's taken. FCG thinks she, she believes she might embrace the shadows to gain eh, eh, to gain extra additional power for the things, but uh, everyone's a little worried, and I think even Sam tried to backtrack, saying that he was working man. Or, or he's clamp, that or he clarified that he wasn't speaking directly to, about the lie when he meant shadows, but. Well, Kyle, the crew member who gets keep on getting picked on, is like, it says just this is very much like addiction. He had to find a way to deal with the impulses. This one, who the who the other crew members don't seem to remember his name, or at least actively thought, they just try to help out by making making a name tag adventure or something like that. Oh, and as this conversation goes, it continues. Sort of embrace your embrace the shadow embrace the dark side and confront it and own it like these pirates do yeah. oh good oh that's good advice. embracing <laughs> the shadow is literally yeah, what it came up <laughs> thank you I didn't realize you excuse you were... me oh. oh and you all kind of turn and away from all the rest of them mm -hmm. uh, eventually they do ask them if the captain is one is likely to keep his word, and they um, 
the the crew seems to assure them that this, though they they I'm not sure they trust the crew crew either. Uh, oh, so I guess there was a day time when they like basically a, a gap between times. Because I was wondering, like, they, how they got all the tattoos when it supposedly takes a long time. And it's a comment that, that said later. Hmm. Eh, I missed that, sorry. Uh, there was, uh, when they asked about if the corner was lying, there was whispers. Um... As she tries to scry on Delilah, but it comes not. Um, they noticed that also, uh, like well, the first day, that like, as they talked to the crew, uh, the navigator, Sir, Sir, Syria, well, uh, Syria, Syria, uh, seems to get keep an eye on them. Ashton Richard gets a tattoo. Additional tat also gets an additional tattoo. Um, I think they said like wings over his shoulder stuff with the or some of that. Or, or, I'm not sure. Or maybe just like uh, uh, the word phrase. And he has the phrase uh, "from the earth of the earth to the earth," written in primordial, tattooed. Yeah, it's more like just scar for him. This round, well. he. Huh? They decide to use a shared dream in, while she's meditating to interstate. She had. Uh, uh, Lana tries to meditate on the lava, but can't seem to remember her face. And FCG has trouble focus as well on. Um, Lana doesn't fully. Tr what the fuck was that? Anyway, they were like walking through a field of like a lot of flowers that you would probably see at a funeral. Um, oh, and uh, Fern eventually finds that on the second day, fire. On the second day, it does look try to to lock pick the lock of the captain's quarters, but but well, is this but because of the terrible stuff, she ends up alerting the the, in the captain uh, the cap captain Novus their presence, but she claims she's just looking for a co more comfortable place to sleep. And he somehow buys this story because of good roles. Oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> Are you suggesting? That you, a flesh and blood horn beast as yourself, wants to come and lay down in the captain's quarters just to get a nice little bit of wink eye. Yes. Oh Make a persuasion check. Come on. This is the most important role of the campaign. Get that wink eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 21. 21? Yeah. If not, I really, I understand. I totally know it's like such a forward thing to ask. I just, I was just checking. N no harm in asking, right? No harm. Will, when the moon's up tonight, <gasps> you can rest. See, that's funny, because I feel like the moon 
it's not gonna come up tonight because I, I don't think you guys see it out here. So I think you're telling me that I cannot come up here and sleep. Right? I'll let you know. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm getting a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> as you step past the cabinet, kind of sits there for a second, you can just see his head kind of just look at the ground for a minute. Like, like if you'd ever see a, a skeletal ghost captain process. <laughs> Quiet. Well, anyway, there. Um, so, well, after that little scene, um, uh, she's met, uh, afterwards she is consumed by a, um, Uh, a, a, and a kind of irate Cerulea, very pe who wants her not to sleep with the captain. <clears throat> and they notice, like, unlike the rest of the crew who have normal, like, white, white yellowish bones and ice thing, her black bones, who was, she's already been noticed as, like, black and bone, seem to have a smoldering feel to them. To, uh, there's a brief question whether or not like tattoos will work on some of them, like Lana, who's partially dead, like how that works, and also FCG, who uh, is made of metal. Okay. When the evening comes, the captain set comes and says, "Moon's up. The moon's up. The moon is up." I can't do as as well as. Matt, at least right now. Uh, while she's in there, she's trying to, oh, like in the captain's quarter, she's trying to also get some information out of him. Like, she asks about the crew's curse and says, Basically, until they find the captain's former they're not rest, assuming they'll be arrested even then. And also finds about find, about finding whoever has wronged them, and and and, and it, it, you know being vengeance, finding whoever wronged like, this in life, and ending them and their bloodlines, which is cr which, yeah, which is one thing, but the bloodlines. That's just. Then anyway. But then the okay comes and asks if she's warm, or tells her that she feels warm. You can lie next to me, get some warmth if you'd like. Maybe, maybe you'll, maybe you'll get a little, little nappy in. You offer some of your warmth. Oh, 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 Burn, get up the bone, or die. Is that, that. I know. What if she gets cursed? Or, what if it's the best sex of her life? What if? <laughs> what if? <laughs> what if? Well, one way to find out. Um, but that, that sounds so, so um, ominous. Like, you're, like I'm gonna give you some of my warmth, am I giving it to you forever? My apologies, but everything I say comes out ominous. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could control it. It comes with the territory. Yeah. All right, well, hop in, hop in. He doesn't kill you, so really it will. <clears throat> he kind of like scoots up onto the edge of the bed. And it's funny, this captain who is given this like intense presence on the ship, in this moment, it seems almost, I don't want to say sheepish, but careful. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to do anything. I, so. Anyway, after that, she does talk, talk to me about She does talk, talk, try to con her, them into taking the sword back. 
It just won't believe me. She asks if she could just say goodbye at least, and while she is in her hand, the sword tries to um, convince her to take it. Um, oh, we could travel around and to cleanse the land of all that stuff. Like we all know, it's bull. The captain does not that the sword ever spoke to him, though. We clearly saw a reaction with her on last episode when he it was clear it was. But uh, hands up, sword. And she teaches the captain how to spoon. During the night, like, she lets Lamar go as a. And apparently that means she, in addition to feeling very cold, it's a. <coughs> <coughs> she also has. A loss of her hit point maximum by five, permanently reduced by five. Uh, no, no, not short rest, long rest. That won't do. There might be some higher level spells they could try, but until then, she is. Uh... Okay. <sighs> And there's another consequence that you'll talk about. They talk about after the break. After after your own, she know they start noting that 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 uh, Cyrilla, Cyrilla, yeah, uh, it is has a crush on. Seems to have a crush on the captain. And is very jealous at the moment. She keeps looking down, watching as she enters the cabin that night and went to go check. And I think scurry across the bow of the ship to like a window to walk. And what she's doing this, Orem took her spyglass. I get with Fern, with actually Fern taking the spyglass to give it back to the person, but this. I'm starting to wonder if he has a problem a problem with the device. Uh, when friend returns to that she does uh, st a problem. And she and there's more of a glow to her, and by that I mean the her smoldering seems to like caught more color light, like the like it's like like more heat. Is, she is, I think she is. Eh. Oh, what's it? Hold it. Anyway, uh, it's like the the temperature of the ship itself becomes more of a saw as she gets real heated up about this, so to speak. She just explained she was just giving Captain warmth, like like actual warmth, and said, "But that just seems to piss off her." You gave a captain warmth.
She tried to convince him that, he, that she was in there. She was the only top of him, but while initially buying it, she, she soon realized he was lying. They eventually, um, Basically, come morning, uh, like Fern, on la before uh, on the last full day of travel, uh, Fern tells the undead Strangers now's her chance. right on the front of the captain's coat and you can see flames up the bones. <laughs> she kind of reach, is reaching down to the captain, clutching, clutching the front of the coat. You can see the air around her is like shifting from the heat that's emanating from her skeleton. Where it is? Looking for warmth? Maybe. I love that he's having to do both sides. <laughs> 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 and we're so invested. Captain. Perhaps we stop dancing around our rules and make a fire. Oh, yeah. And she kind of pushes him into the room yeah. as the door closes behind him. Yeah. 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 And we'll go to break. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get stories like this anywhere else. Fire, fashion, wind. This crew. Oh, We're basically like two Wong Fu things for everything but for yeah. this. Oh. Minus my five. Incredible. It's fine. Oh. But you're gonna get you some last turn. Sure. Sure. All right, well, we'll come back here in a few minutes. Yeah. And... She was building, I was like, that's gonna be a tough one. Fucking 30. I love it. Anyway, well, we go to break. It starts uh, with the Silent God trailer. Mm -hmm. Goes down. Only thing we think is really the joggers. Everything else is stuff we've heard about before, huh? including the ending. Ending with uh, with the uh, their trips or their Twitch channel su subscribing thing, thing, which is the conspiracy ad. Uh, if you can't remember this, just go look yourself. Basically, as soon as that happened, they go into the thing. Like, every, like the entire two plus Chetney and Ashton go uh, really head to the door for listening to the sounds. <sighs> childish, childish. But then again, we are playing. They are playing a game. But it, but indeed the. <laughs> Here's the thing. It is very cold temperature in this in this ship, but indeed steam begins to pour out from underneath the slight gap in the oh. captain's quarters doors. Wait, 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 wait. And 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 Celia, she was looking through like portholes, right? Like oh, to his. You spider climb. Well, well, I could look through Pate. I could send him around. Can we do this in campaign two? Did yeah, 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 but it was on one of our own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it again. Yeah, go 
I'm telling Pate to go invisible. Back all the classics. Hey, what, what, what am I supposed to do? Okay, there's a, there should be little like uh, port porthole windows looking into this room. And I want you to go fly over there and look in. I'm gonna look through your eyes and uh, I want to see. I want to see what's. I want to see. What, what, what am I supposed to be looking for? Um, <laughs> full moon. The captain. In full moon. Boning. Boning. I'll give her to him. Oh. <laughs> go invisible. <laughs> <laughs> and look through his eyes. Look through his eyes and over the side of the ship, off to the back end of it. Uh, there are no portholes. There is a large, uh, like almost like a, like a gable uh, segmented window on the back of the captain's quarters. This is a square window. He like attaches to the side and crawls over to it. Uh, it's like staring into a sauna. You don't see anything, except for just shapes moving occasionally oh, through it, oh. and the the, the, the steam kind of shifting so the, in place. The Kate Winslet hand. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A skeletal hand <laughs> smearing down uh, a, a non-smoldering one. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 guys, it's, it's so steamy, like literally steamy. I just see like figures. It's like it's like looking at a burlesque performance in a shadow box. <laughs> Do you need me yeah. to get closer in? Wow. <laughs> how, 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 you know, used. Entire ship. Who are this? I feel changed. The you? blue burning lantern lights throughout the entire ship begin to shift from that dull, pale white blue into more of a, a soft, orangish red color. Did we Pleasantville this ship? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. It's color. Either that or there's a new captain. Great reference. Oh. You know what? Captain's getting peg legged right now. This is. <laughs> Oh, damn it. <laughs> Yo, ho, ho. Captain's <laughs> 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 kitten. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> this should be episode 69. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Yes. Nice. I just feel like this is probably. I mean. Uh, after that, uh, she, uh, uh, uh Cerulea uh, emerges. Her bones are no longer burning fiercely. Uh, kind of like a tail of privilege goes up, like it's low temperature. She does get some. And, well, uh, and the same thing with, and, and kind of just uh, with a nice company. And so does the captain. And, uh, and, uh, and what, as he emerges, so the same colors, though in this case is has warmed up for him. And a bit of a limp. <laughs> and and it was coming to the last day of travel and uh it's the last uh, leg uh there'll be a wrong day and Wanda wanted to uh have uh, throw a little surprise have a little surprise for the crew and stuff, but the captain said, you know, surprises. And when she said, oh, I just want to, uh, uh, oh, I, oh, but I just want uh, to, no, I'm just annoyed with your, the, your light circle like you're a little impressed. Anyway. They end up, she ended, the Bell's Hells ends up throwing a party for the crew. Uh, they have they create these banners of different scenes of tor torturous scenes of the crews like uh, more vile act. Uh, FTG prepares brownies, but uh, unfortunately, also in but also sprinkles with drugs. From all minds burn. And then they also create that sign for for um, Kyle. Kyle. 
Oh, this is from all of us with love and admiration and also so you can get some damn respect. <laughs> I did the best I could on the yeah, opposite yeah, side yeah, of the yeah. beat. It, it says, I'm Kyle, you fucks. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and I hand it to him. It's got a little bit of black trim on the paint and then a red background with white in the letters. Oh, beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. Yeah, and I also give him a little character painting that has him standing on top of Bruda and Vandalo, and it says boss on his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, you see that? My name's Kyle, you fucks! <laughs> That's all you need. Get that alpha. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And I, I appreciate that you made those, but I think I'll pass as well. <laughs> Good for you, Kyle. Good for you. He goes over and tears a bit of like material off of his like side hang, his uh, kind of like a short coat that he's wearing. Puts it around like these nails that he puts to the back and wears it on his neck. The name yes. tag, like a, like a door sign. Yeah. Yes. Made a difference. Ghost would commit. Um, other ones, uh, other crew members begin to reach out. You see uh, uh, Sanjay, the musician, kind of reach out and grab one of the brownies and go. And just kind of like tumbles through. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know it's gonna be a full cut. You. Technically, you know, they're talking about the brownies, but technically the crew can't eat them because who knows what they're at. Uh, you can see, uh, they notice, like, uh, the captain and two, like, and the navigator, I'll just go ahead and see. Uh, uh, see that, though, uh, though uh, this kind of interrupted when the navigator starts a frantic look for her missing spyglass, so. Institute provides music while Fur, while, while Lana and Imogen dance, do a dance to go. However, uh, uh, for, for the captain, when at uh, the captain, ooh, 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 makes a public, however, it draws attention, the party immediately goes to the end. It doesn't. They'll be making landfall. They'll they'll be right at the destination still enough. And basically, he gives them kind of warning. He said he thanks them for all the general company and stuff. It really was enjoyable. Then he said if he ever tells them that they had a good time on the ship and weren't counting feel all the time, that cur his curse about he he will also be one of his vengeance be taken about them and his their bloodlines. Uh, they allow them to keep the banners and stuff. Or... Uh... And with a splash, they drop into the water off the coast of Kalutha. <coughs> it is it's described as being a paradise, though pretty rocky, too. Um... Uh, uh, they land right off a cliff, uh, a cliff a, which is like eight hundred feet tall. Uh, temperature uh, 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 stuff. Uh, Water is crystal clear, though. Unlike uh, certain ones' sinuses. Oh god, I could finish this though. Play, you stupid! I don't know. Um, I'm gonna walk up towards the cliffs near where the, the are they, are the uh, two caverns kind of almost parallel or are there a little? No, anyone? So it was about 40 feet up. I'm going to sit down and try and Oh, uh, get my oh, hands in and just. Anyway, climb. there was a. Well, uh, 
Marshall had a big sneeze. I, I, I guess that was a wrong clip. Uh, anyway, uh, Ashton knows it. Uh, uh, not really important. Uh, Ashton, uh, God's sakes. <sighs> no, I know I Anyway, uh, 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 notice it has a, there's a strange familiarity to the place, even though he's never been there. Mm -hmm. uh, Lana sends a Patriot uh, scout and look up for, for caves and stuff, for the upper caves and stuff, and through a fork and to the left. And to a passage on the left, because there was two of them. We'll cover there. And Gumpster and finds an alien landscape uh, to the island or so. Um. So, so, mm -hmm. uh, Ashton quickly says, she brings in, I'm in primordial. Um, I'm here. I'm looking for you. They come across a camp. Uh, they, they find a camp. So, Patty found a campsite before. And as they're going up the passes, they find another campsite. Oh, both abandoned, of course. You know, they attempt to climb a uh, uh, climb. Uh, up, uh, Imogen gets stuck at one, uh, at one point, uh, actually, she just, no, she wasn't her, uh, it, she does miss a step all the way up, uh, one of them gets stuck up there, um, there, and Ashen and Orm, who are both probably some of those physically fit members of the party, they're gently falling close to the high, they end up getting exhaustion, attempting to climb. Uh, they enter cavern. Uh, Chitney describes this or the right branch instead of the left one. The new and there is this detects this sweet, almost like fermentation odor. Odor. Then he hears a sound like of like something like armored. Scales across stone. He sees this creature, this thick worm creature, and stuff come out. A thick hide one. It starts to encircle us, uh, to do a circle around the film. And realize it is basically surrounding him, like. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's how, somehow something's there, though, it can't like, pinpoint him. He quickly uses the horn of silent alarm to tell Uller Imogen and the others to his peril. They go rushing to forward to help. This creature, or uh, which is in, based on a real world creature called the Cassilian, uh, uh, Cassilian. No. Uh, a base. Uh, uh, attack. There, there. Uh, they rush in for. Uh, Chutney assumes his wolf form. Uh, 10 feet. <laughs> I'm going to learn from my past mistakes and I'm going to cover my mouth and bonus action harbor transformation into a werewolf. And I'm like, <laughs> 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 cool. Roll stealth check for me. 
19? 19? <laughs> yep. And at the last minute, you go. <laughs> <laughs> and both heads immediately <laughs> back to you. Mandibles. <laughs> open. And combat is on. You have this large creature here. Just say this is. It actually is two-headed. Described as two-headed, with uh, each other having a set of pincers. Come on. And here is Ashton at the head of the group coming in to the deep thing there and the uh, they do have a have a problem because they don't have a, a, the minis with them. Uh, Ashton or both tie. With a natural twenty leading to twenty five for for their um for their um uh, initiative rolls uh, they, they they just basically the rest of the party drives forward um so it's hard for like the astronaut because they don't have dark vision they try to get new. <laughs> Right. Oh, his thing. Uh, How far? Well, I can't see anything yet. Can yeah, well, that. <laughs> oh, he said, I found a little off. Oh, fuck. All right. There you go. Oh, sprinkles! Ah, he's fine. And basically, they have alternative uh, things. Uh, Uh, I have like fern cast daylight in it to light, light up. Or, oh, sh doing there. Um, uh, Chetney initiated to my pulley out turmoil and turmoil and uses it to activate his flame right. If I'm right, uh, they discover that even if you hit it, it whether it's a, it's blood or body or just a coating, it, it is acidic. It'll take damage from striking it. Uh, though he takes damage, uh, FCG cast uh, uses uh, the the staff of Dark Odyssey to misty step or to uh, help. Um, then simply vines with the rest with most of the rest of the group. Peter notices the party and uses an extended stomach attack to, um, you'll have to listen to the original things to find out what that does. Uh, uh Orm uses a Zephyr heart to bolster his, uh, I actually have to look up what that does. It's sort of like a buff. Uh, the the extensive effect like, does thirty four damage, and draw and drops there. Anyone who for anyone who doesn't succeed in a constitution throw or some or some or some sort of save, as well and for those who don't say it's save a a ten point penalty to the maximum hit points, and brings them like a cl closer maybe like ten feet. Uh, this is the what they're fighting against. No, uh, here. Pause if you need to to read this. Uh, and with this stuff, uh, you also discover it's regenerative. It can heal itself like passively. 
Uh, Lana enters the form of dreaded attack. Uh, one of through her, we are able to learn that it has an AC of seventeen. Uh, she uses chill touch, chill touch on it successfully, which sh- the, does prevent it from its regenerative abilities. Uh, Imogen casts hungry torrent around it. Around. Uh, to oh, keep it in place, I forget what they exactly explain that spell does. There, uh, 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 Orm does a goading attack to give it trouble hitting the others. So it has a layer action where these larva like entities fall for in and splatter across the ground. Doing a small bit of acid damage. And then, uh, Chetney uses the uh, Tormal to cast Shatter. This is a very, very bridge thing of this episode. Well, poop, then. Uh, If I stay here, it will kill me. If I run away, it will swipe at me and kill me. I could use my stuff to get away from it, but then I wouldn't be able to do anything on my turn. This is the conundrum with the dungeons and the dragons. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to cleric life. Uh, It'd be I, good to have you alive. I know, I know. I guess I will use my, uh, I will use that same thing I just did, Misty Step, and I'll bonus action Misty Step away from it. Which direction you want to go? <sighs> just away from other people. <laughs> it can probably still get to me, but like. Anyway, it, uh, does another, it does another of extended stomach thing, dropping those who fail to save, another minus 10 points of max hit points. Uh, I think Lana can have bl- class blight on it. Very close. Great. We should have advantage on this, right? Because, Ooh, uh... That's very close. Great. Um, uh, 18. Very close. Great. We should have advantage on this, right? Because, Ooh, uh, that's yep, right. Ashton. Still down. Just in case I get a nat 20. Oh, that's what? No, oh, shit! <laughs> Just in case. Sure. Always I watched that shit dice. happen in real time. I usually don't have that good of a view of the of the dice box to watch that shit. <laughs> that was awesome. That's so funny. Um, I will keep this um, dice roll because it's good. Uh, after that, um, uh, Imogen u- uses Psychic Lance on it to stun it. Then Ashton gets managed to get the how do you want to do this to it, and go uses the and basically kind of forwards his uh, a violent uh, gateway to t- to portal himself to the. Uh, Opposite side of anything to deliver a hammer blow, so ending the creature. Oh. Oh, perfect. Where's Pat Tay? I'm gonna strangle him for not seeing that thing. Well, you went down the left path. This is the right. I went down this way. Well, technically, this is this was the right path. Oh, this is the left path. This is the right path. This was the center chamber. He just didn't see it. He just didn't see it. Then I pull out Pate and I give him to Imogen. Oh, what was going on? You got to keep your eyes open, buddy. I don't have eyes. (laughs) 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 
Daniel House. Yeah, anyway. They search the nest of this creature and find these swords of a strange metal, which they do through a, through a successful check they identify as woe steel. It's something, a type of steel which was directly created as a byproduct of Dominus's destruction during the start of the calamity. The only who found this shard of teeth of the remnants of Dominus and has a plus one effect which is natural, not magical. Meaning, if you use a spell magic or any magic field, that will not affect it. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, they also find this charm. Uh, 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 well, it's, uh, it's it's held sacred by the Oshended host. Or Oshended host. Uh, it is weak to. It is weak to thunder damage, though. Uh, you also find a Wolf Steel Cage Charm with a red brown theory. Uh, they identify it as a, a Rato Charm. For, uh, they, they don't know what it does. They never say what it does, but apparently they can't attune to it. It has to be attuned to by a specific person. Uh, uh, Chenny uses his Goon Psyometry. Psychometry to uh, have a vision of a look what last people hold it. A hunting group who went out a cave, lit up so they came face to face with this creature and met their end. They sent Pat out, Tay out, out scouting and stuff to find a way. And eventually come out upon this room looking over this green, vi this vast jungle stuff, uh, which they just, which Chetty just saw a vision of. They, the, they, they've made, made it to the interior island and are on their way to the tree. And with that, the only thing left is. Well, I don't have much time, and uh, this is a subclass, so it's going to take a long... Uh, this is a long subclass, so... This... Uh, my my homebrew today is the... Is uh, d the Dragon Bond Warlock. All dragons have hordes of... In one form or another, uh, different thing. To increase these hordes, some powerful... This... Well, just have basic... Uh, some powerful dragons have taken... Into their employ agents and stuff, with the payment. Uh, the payment is power for them. Is payment. The payment for them is power and arcane knowledge. Uh, the f first feature at level one, you get the expanded spell list, which goes up as you get more le levels and stuff. Uh, in addition to a general list. Uh, uh, List you, you also get one additional level one spell, but depending on what type of dragon you have. Uh, if you have metallic, you get absorb elements. Chromatic, you get chromatic orb. Gem dragon, you get dissonant whispers. And if it's a, a other non listed dragon type, you, the DM will choose. Oh, so at low, uh, they, the, 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 sp the spells that they gained are at level one. Chaos Bolt, which is usually reserved for sorcerers, but well, and command level two spells, uh, Dragon Breath, and Nath Nathair's Mischief. You, you, please go to. There's a link to this in the description. Please go. So these are actual working links. To, I'll take you to Christmas spell. Um, uh, third level spell, uh, Ordalon's Stride and Insight Greed. Yeah. Level four, uh, private sanctum and secret chest. Level five, dominant person and summon draconic spirit. Uh, uh, when ever you inflict damage of uh, of an so uh, uh, basically whenever you with a, you inflict a certain type of damage with uh, that relates to whatever your your dragon's element is, like what their breath is. And let's say you know like red go red brass red. And gold all have fire. Uh, uh, blue and brass have lightning. So forth. But if you get a, uh, you get to add another d uh, dice of damage. The dice is a, the the size of the dice equal the your proficiency bonus times two. 
Like at starting out, you would have a D4, you know, two times your progress, your progression is your two, so far. Doesn't it should. And then at level six, you get improved bond. Uh, with, uh, you gain it's a benefit get based on what, what these are this and next one enhanced bond are based on what boon you choose for the blade pact uh, boon uh, you uh, get get to attack twice now you can replace one attack with a cantrip one attacks a cantrip and any uh, melee attack weapon attacks you any uh, weapon attacks you do who oh, you also do uh, want you uh, apply the damage from Dracard boost Pack to the chain. Uh, you, get, if you're familiar with attacks, you get uh, to apply drill card boost to that, to the attack. And if you drop a hero, you land a, they land a crit or drop a creature to zero pit points. You get you or your or the familiar, whichever you choose, get gets temp, can get temporary hit points equal to your curse of modifier. Tome pack. You learn a number of spell, uh, extra spells, uh, which could be from any spell list, like from any other class. As long as you have you have spell slots of that level available, a spell slot that can cast it, you can swap one of these out every time you level up. They are considered warlock spells that do not count against the numbers. No, no. Uh, then talisman pact. Uh, you get whoever wears it, you gets an Elgix invo invocation. It's a same. Whatever you pick there, though, it stays with that tells them for the rest. Uh, next thing, same thing, like Pact of Blade. You, you get a magical set of uh, a scale armor, like that looks like the scales of the, your patron. You have an AC of 14 plus your Prince modifier, and you have resistance against the, the dr 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 Draconic Boost uh, t damage type. Pact of Chain, you can use Flock of Familiars instead of Fine Familiars in, for your for the boon. Uh, Tome. Uh, tome boom. Uh, 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 you uh, can basically uh, you took one spell uh, you know and one cantrip you no know, and you can change their damage to that to match your draconic boost time. And a and creature on the chosen level spell has disadvantage on their saving throw. Uh, fine, and the final one, Drac draconic bond one. You know the spell. Draconic transformation, you would have be able to cast higher level spells. In addition, when you get, get to add, whenever you do damage or a creature is damaged by you or has the effect of spell on them, like attack, you can if if they they have to make a save a charisma save if they fail, a, a certain effect happens based on what type of dragon your your patron is. Uh, just see the list, and that's it. I gotta go now. So thank you for. Join me. This is Free and Free and Mancha, and I wish you good fortune on the quest of.